So praise the Lord over there. Praise, praise the Lord. God in your boarding houses, in your employer's house. And we will begin our service this afternoon. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we are so happy. Praise God for the opportunity that the Lord has given us through this technology. Praise God. We can uh, reach out those people. Praise God all around the world. Hallelujah. And we are so ready now this afternoon to sing songs unto the Lord and to deliver Praise God, the message of the gospel this afternoon by our Pastor Reverend uh, Bobby Librado. Praise God. So at this time, praise God, I will open, praise God, this service by the word of the Lord. In Psalms 34, verse 15 to 19, the Bible said, The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are upon open unto their cry. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 16, the Bible said, The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Verse 17, the Bible said, The righteous cry, and the Lord hear it, and deliver it them, out of all their troubles. Verse 18, the Bible says, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. The last verse of the psalmist, praise God in verse 19, hallelujah, the Bible said these words, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord Delivered him out of the mob. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lift Lord, up your hands. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We praise God right now. Yes, and let us pray. Hallelujah. And ask the blessings of the Almighty God will be upon us. Hallelujah. That this audio, this praise God, hallelujah, this presentation, hallelujah. and this live feed through our official MP page. Hallelujah. Your audio in your every mobile phone would be clear and there would be no interruptions. Praise God. And let us pray to the Lord that the Lord, hallelujah, would bless us today. Yes. Heavenly Father, I pray and I thank you, Lord, yes, for all Lord. the blessings that you have given hallelujah. to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, of your covering and protection, Lord. Lord hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. Lord, I pray for all our brethren of New Life yes. 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 and all our brethren yes. around the world who is watching right now. That your spirit that will minister to every heart. Hallelujah, yes, Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus makes us a vessel for your glory. Let yes, your spirit Lord, minister, O oh God, right now, oh Jesus, yes, through our songs. Hallelujah. Yes, that, are being, hallelujah. Uh, that we are going to sing this afternoon, O oh Lord. That it will minister, O oh Lord, to every person that is hearing right now. Yes, Thank you so yes. much, Lord. And we bless your name. Hallelujah. Cover this place with your precious blood. Bless your people, O oh God, right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. Everybody say amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This day as I go down from our building, hallelujah, the streets of Hong Kong are empty. Hallelujah. The traffic on the streets, hallelujah, is so, it's not like before. Hallelujah. And we're going to sing the song. The King is coming. He is coming very soon. Hallelujah. So let's make ourselves ready. Let's prepare for the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. You can sing with me as you can see on the screen. Hallelujah, Jesus, as we worship the Lord together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. The marketplace is empty. No more traffic in the streets. All the builder dolls are silent. No more time to harvest rain. Busy housewives, sisterly boys in the courtroom. No more debate. War on earth has been suspended as the king comes through the gate. Oh, the king 
In the name 
Lord. Let us clap our hands to the Lord and lift up His name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's be real, Lord. Let's be real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's be your name. Let's be your name. Praise God. Hallelujah. To those who are watching with us, praise God today in this Hallelujah worship service. May the Lord bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, just stay where you are and open your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. As we sing songs, praise God to the Lord. It will minister to us. Praise God in these times of troubles. Hallelujah. All around the world, there is dying, praise God, in the face of the earth. But I will tell you also, there are so many people who are being recovered. So let us speak like. Amen. Let us share the good news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. There is power in the name of the Lord. To all uh, the Filipinos watching in the Philippines. To all our brethren watching, praise God, in the Western, praise God, countries. Uh, our brethren in Macau, our brethren, praise God, in Hong Kong. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Praise hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray, praise God, our brethren. Praise God. We are going to pray together for Sister Cynthia and Sister Christina. Yes. We Lord. are in Queen Mary Hospital right now because of the... Praise God, an accident yesterday. Yes, hallelujah. Lord, I know hallelujah, the Lord, Jesus. hallelujah, through our prayer, praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, All Lord, our brethren hallelujah. will join together our faith right now. Let's pray for our uh, pastors, praise God, that the, the protection of the Lord will be upon them. Hallelujah. As there is uh, a great need of prayer from the church, especially for the frontliners, the doctors, Amen. the nurses around yes, the world. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And let us pray, praise God, for our leaders of the land, that God will give them wisdom. Praise God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. This storm will pass. I repeat Amen. it again. This storm will pass. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. So hallelujah. let us come into the presence of the Lord, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Yes, we Lord. thank you, Lord, hallelujah. of your presence. We thank you, God, of your promises. Wherever we are, O oh Lord, hallelujah, you fill this world Lord, with your glory. Your presence is everywhere, praise God, hallelujah. Lord, and we join Lord, together hallelujah. right now, O oh Lord God, God together Lord, with my brethren watching Lord, around the world. Uh, we are praying for Sister Cynthia and Sister Christina, the uh, pitiful God, Sister Cynthia, the brother. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. The accident yesterday, God, we are in the Queen Mary Hospital. We are praying for the strength and fasting. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe in the power of prayer. And we yes, we are hallelujah. We are the answer of our prayers. Jesus. God, we are praying, hallelujah, as a church, hallelujah, the leaders all around the world, hallelujah, the leaders in the U.S., the leaders, oh God, in Europe, the leaders in Asia, oh God, give them wisdom, hallelujah, yes, Lord. praise hallelujah. God, how to handle this, praise God, crisis, oh Lord, and especially our churches, oh God, all around the world, the apostolic churches around the world, oh God, hallelujah, hear our prayer, hallelujah, hear our God, hallelujah, our petitions, oh God, bless, oh God, and protect the frontliners, the doctors, the nurses, oh God, and those patients, God, in the hospital right now, hallelujah, Jesus, who are recovering from this COVID-19 virus and other illnesses, we pray and we send right now, oh God, even on this social media on air, we send the spirit of healing, and we declare that virus stripes we are healed. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, we yes, are yes, healed in the name yes, of Jesus. We are praying for the provision of God. Hallelujah. By your people. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus. Over Jesus. your life fellowship. Hallelujah. The church in Macau. Lord yes, God. Lord, hallelujah. Our campuses of God. The people of God. Hallelujah. In our campuses in Puta and Discovery Bay. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. We plead your precious blood. Cover us, God. Hallelujah. Cover your people, oh Lord. Hallelujah. And we give you honor and glory. Thank you, Lord, for you are an answering Lord, God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. the Lord. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. It's time to give our God's an offering. Amen. Now, how can you say that? Praise God. Hallelujah. So if you are available, praise God on uh, uh, weekdays. Sister Marisa is... Uh, here in the church, praise God every day, and you can come in just one by one or two by two. You can drop, praise God, hallelujah, your uh, support, praise God for the ministry, your tithes and offering, our faith promise. Praise God, just call Sister Marisa, hallelujah, just notify her, her, praise God, hallelujah, and uh, you are welcome to come here, praise God, as long as we are not 
uh, above four people, oh, praise God, Halil, to drop your uh, giving. praise God, your givings and uh, your support, praise God, for the ministry. Hallelujah. So it's time for us right now. Hallelujah. It's time to sing songs. Hallelujah. Just imagine with me, friends. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are. Hallelujah. Uh, I believe that we have, together with the angels of the Lord, Amen. surrounded this place. We will, and they are going to sing with us also. And all of you who are just watching there, praise God. Stand on in your feet. Praise God. Where you Hallelujah. Are. Hallelujah. And sing with me. And let us, praise God, exalt the name of the Lord together. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. We are apart. Praise God. But in our spirit, we are just one. Hallelujah in the Lord. Let us sing a song unto the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ayo magpupuri. Inaraami. Praise God. Pero God's power is in the blood. It's always been you, 
this house this afternoon. Amen. Hallelujah. Especially the presence of the Lord. Amen. Is in this sanctuary right now. So thank you so much for those uh, watching now. Now, Praise the Lord and uh, we would like to uh, go now into the word of the Lord without any further delay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Greetings also to our brethren in the Philippines who are watching also on this live streaming video. Thank you so much and we will come together in the presence of the Lord this afternoon. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, if you have your Bible with you, can you please uh, turn with me in the book of uh, 1 Chronicles 
chapter 21. Praise God. But I believe that we need to obey what the government order for us that we will only gather only for people. But about poor people, there is something even against the rule of the government, the advice of the government. So thank you so much. I believe that even we are just only poor person in this place. Amen. The Lord is going to move. Amen. From this pulpit up to your place right now. So, all right. First Chronicles. Amen. I would like also to open your Bible. Amen. With me. If you are watching, praise God, in your house, in your room, wherever you are, in the hospital. First Chronicles chapter 21. And there are some uh, selected verses that we're going to read this afternoon. The Bible said, And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. And Joah gave the sum of the number, and that is a verse 5, of the people unto David. And all they of Israel were thousand, thousand, and an hundred thousand men that drew sword. And Judah was four hundred threescore and ten thousand men that drew sword. In verse 7, And God was displaced with the steam. Therefore, he smote Israel. And we will jump to verse 14. The Bible said, Amen, because uh, the Lord will not please what David done. Amen. The Bible said, Amen. So the Lord sent a pestilence upon Israel, and there fell of Israel 70,000 men. Because of this pestilence, it caused 70,000 people died on that time. And in verse 15, the Bible said, And God sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, the Lord beheld, and he repented him of the evil, and said to the angel that destroyed, It is enough. Stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the dressing floor of Orlan the Jebusite. In verse 16, And David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand, stretched out over Jerusalem. And David and the elder of Israel, take note what they did, who are clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces, meaning to say they prayed together when they saw the angel of the Lord standing between the earth and the heaven. And in verse 21, let's jump to verse 21. And as David came to Ornan, Ornan looked and saw David and went out of the dressing floor and bowed himself to David with his face to the ground. Then David said to Ornan, Grant me the place of this dressing floor, that I may build an altar therein unto the Lord. Thou shalt grant it me for the full price, that the plague, take note, the reason why David want to establish an altar, because David knows that the plague is talking about the pestilence, may be stayed from the people, meaning to say David knows that when you establish, when David establish the altar, he believed that the pestilence is going to stop Amen. from the people. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I love this verse. And in verse 23, look at this. And Ordan said unto David, Take it to thee, and lay my Lord the king do that which is good in his eyes. In law, I give thee the oxen also for burnt offerings. 
and the threshing instrument for woods, and the wheat for the meat offering, I will give it all. Meaning to say, Ornan want to donate all the instrument using, amen, to give in sacrifice to the Lord, what David, hallelujah, built an altar. But in verse 24, this is what David said. And King David said to Ornan, Nay, but I will verily buy it for the full price. He, he mean, I will not accept that for free that you will give it to me. I will not take that which is thine for the Lord, nor offer burnt offering without a cost. Amen. 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 Meaning to say he don't want to use this instrument, amen, without paying the price. Amen. He want to pay the price. Amen. Praise the Lord. So in verse 25, so David gave to Ornan for the, for the place 600 shekels of gold by weight. And David built there an altar unto the Lord. Take note. And offered burnt offerings and peace offerings and called upon the Lord and he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar of burnt offering. God confirmed the decision of David that he made an altar into Ornan's dressing floor. And the Lord commanded the angel, look at this, yes, before, yes, yes. hallelujah, I want to establish the altar because I know if I establish the altar the pestilence is going to stop. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, and when David did it, the Lord commanded. This is the response. Yeah. Amen. The angel. And he put up his sword again into the ship thereof. He put it back the sword in his own case. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. And in verse 28, in the time when David saw that the Lord had answered him in the tracing floor of Ornan the Jebusite, then he sacrificed there. there. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, Hallelujah. join with me, brethren and Lord, and we will come into the Lord in prayer. Jesus. Thank you so much for this wonderful scripture that you have given to us this afternoon. I pray your divine anointing, Lord, to be upon your servant right now. Hallelujah. Preaching your word. Hallelujah. And Lord, bless every ears that hear this preaching today, oh God. Even in a live streaming, Lord, in their video, oh God, wherever they are right now, oh God, I pray that stretch forth your hands upon them, oh God. And speak to us, Lord, upon this message, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Fill us with your blessing. Yes. Hallelujah. Fill us, Lord. Hallelujah. With your promises today, Father. I pray the double portion of your anointing to be upon your, the lips of your servant and to your people as well today, O oh Lord. God, we dedicate this moment to you, Lord. Give us revival today, our Father. Give us healing today. Give us deliverance today, Lord. And let the power of your name perfect us and cover us, Lord, always. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. Shout. Everybody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we clap our hands for the glory of the Lord? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, before I go through this message, I like to bring the message of the Lord in His title. Amen. The birthplace of revival. The birthplace of revival. Amen. Hallelujah. The birthplace of revival. Amen. Supposed to be. This is our Holy Ghost explosion. Amen. <laughs> but I believe even though there are no people here and just only poor physical body. Amen. We consider that we are together in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Even we are not meet together, physical body, but let the Spirit of God touches us, reach us where we are right now. Amen. Because we believe that we will find out that there is a birthplace of revival. Amen. Hallelujah. So in in our scripture a while ago, Amen. Satan goes 
was to provoke David's flesh. flesh. This is what the enemy wants. To. He provoked David's flesh. And don't you know also that we are still face, facing the same battle that we have faced since the creation of Adam and Abe? We are aware of that. The battle between, between our flesh and God's spirit. Just remember when God said in Genesis chapter 6 verse 3, the Bible said and the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Look at this. God, he will not abide in a man forever, for he is flesh. He give only a day, shall only for 120 years, amen, after the generation of Noah. So in our scripture, David allowed his flesh to overcome God's spirit will because of his ego. He wanted Israel to be numbered. Look at this. Because David wanted to number all the men in all Israel. Amen. He wanted to know how many soldiers he had just to fight. Amen. Around the world. Around Jerusalem, Palestine, everywhere. And he want to become always victorious. And he want to know how many people he has. But don't you know. In verse 7 the Bible said. God was displeased with these things. Therefore he is more Israel. God. Will not happy on that what David did. It seems as she don't know that there is no God that is able to help them. But I believe that even though they are out of number, if God is in you, who can be against you? Amen. Shall we say amen? amen? Even though they are out of number, but God promised to them that, that he will be with them forever. Hallelujah. Shall we say amen? amen? That's the reason why God was displeased with the things that therefore he is more Israel. And because of this, we know the story. God sent an angel of war into the city of Jerusalem by sending pestilences so that 70,000 men died. In verse 14. This is the reason why the Bible said that after this angel had slain 70,000 men. David looked up and saw the angel standing on ornate dressing floor. With the sword in his hand. Just notice that the Bible says. That the angel was standing between heaven and earth. In verse 16. David saw the angel. Don't you know that there is a significance on this. Why David saw the angel. In the threshing floor of Orna. Because it represents heaven. It's about the spirit. And earth is represent the flesh. Amen? Amen. Why? Why this angel show up to David that he was standing on the place of the dressing floor because he wants to represent heaven is the spirit and the earth is the it's representing the flesh. So in Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 and 10 the Bible said after this manner therefore pray ye our father which art in heaven Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now, the very thing that Jesus teaches us to pray is about is the battle between our flesh and his spirit. Mm -hmm. 
Shall we say amen? amen? So the vision that David said was this. He said that the angel of the Lord with the sword in his hand suspended or withhold between heaven and earth. Because all that time the pestilence are striking Jerusalem. Because that sword is pointing to the people, to, to Israel. But also we need to notice where the angel was located. In Ordan's dressing floor. Hello. Yeah. He was in Ornan dressing floor. Now, I would like to take your attention. This is not an accident that why the angel standing between heaven and earth and in the place of Ornan dressing floor. Because I found out that the word dressing, the word trust, you miss my brother Greg. This is not uh, an accident, but this is the will of God and he want to show something significant about this. The word trust or trust is the synonyms about to separate the seed from the husk and straw by beating. You cannot separate the seed from the husk without beating, without pounding, without hammering or buttering. Shall we say amen? amen? And that's the time only that you can separate the seed from his husk. That's the word trust or trust. To beat soundly as if with stick or whip. To defeat decisively or severely. To swing, to beat, to strike in the manner of rapidly moving flail. To go over again and again. Wow. So meaning to say, there is not an accident why the angel of the Lord is standing in Ornan's dressing floor because he wants to show up church that there is something in the place. Shall we say amen? amen. And it was only by mistake that this vision of the angel took place at Ornan's dressing floor. But it was here that God was teaching us how to win the battle of our flesh versus His Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot come to God by an easy way only, raising your hands, hallelujah, shouting praise the Lord. But there is something building. There is, oh boy, hallelujah. There is something power, hallelujah, that you need to do when you go into the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we say amen? amen? So it was not by mistake that this vision of the angel took place of Ornan's threshing floor. It was here that God was teaching us how to win the battle between our flesh versus the spirit of God. Everybody say amen. amen. That's the reason why when Paul admonished us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 31, the Bible said, I protest by our rejoice, by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's why I die daily. Yes. There is something happening, brother Chris. There is something beating in our flesh. There is something power that we need, we need to overcome. That's the reason why Paul said, I die daily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So after David saw this vision, he and the elders of Israel fell on his faces and repented before God. Hallelujah. Amen. And David... Praise God came to Ornan's dressing floor and asked to buy the place from Ornan because now he realized how important it was. Hallelujah. Hello. That in verse 22, we know, we remember that God sent the pestilence in Jerusalem because David obeyed the will of the Lord. But when David realized that he disobeyed, 
the will of the Lord, he got repented. Amen? Amen. He got repented. And I believe that David received the forgiveness of the Lord. But if you, if you commit sin, there is always a consequence. Amen? Amen. And David pleaded to the Lord, God, do not punish the whole Jerusalem. Just punish only my family. But God said, okay, if that's what you want, I give you a three choices. Three choices. Yes. And choice, one of them. Okay, number one, if you want to choose the three years famine in the land, or three months that you are always defeated against your foes, your enemy, and number three, three days. Amen. By the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence is going to strike. And David said, It's much better to choose that I was I am going to fall in the hands of the Lord than to fall into the hands of men. Yes. Shall we say amen? amen? So this is the reason why the Lord sent a pestilence. It seems like in COVID-19. Huh. Amen. Amen. And because of that, you cannot stop the hands of God. Hallelujah. And Israel received this pestilence from the Lord. But when David came to Ornan's dressing floor and asked to buy that place from Ornan, because he realized has how important it was. Take note. Ornan said, that he would give the place to David along with tools and animals for the sacrifice unto God. Ornan is willing to give everything to David, just use it to sacrifice unto the Lord. But David resists to receive in, in his offering in a free cost. So David said, I will not offer anything unto God which has cost me nothing. Amen. Shall we say amen? amen. Praise amen. God. That's why when you come to the Lord, hallelujah, you will never come to the Lord that costs you nothing. There is something, wow, wow. power, there is something building, there is something hammering. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible said, worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Amen. Because God is spirit. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So we must worship God with all our minds, with all our strengths, yes. with all our soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the reason why David knows when it comes to commune with God in prayer, and receive the answer we need to pay the price yes. Hallelujah. hello Hallelujah. God instructed David to go to Ornan dressing floor for him to discover the significant meaning of the place where the angel of God is standing between heaven and earth yes. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah so meaning to say in worshiping the Lord in serving the Lord is not an easy way you need Pay the price. Yeah. Even in our prayer, even in our worship, you need to pay always the price. Yeah. Yes. Everybody say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So David built an altar unto God at the threshing floor. And the Bible said that God was placed because he answered him from heaven by fire. Upon the altar of burnt offering. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Meaning to say. It's a long time ago that we expect. Amen. That the, the field of science. Medical science. Is going to discover the antidote. 
of this in COVID-19? The vaccine. The vaccine. But still now, did it found it? Hallelujah. But 2,000 years ago, yes, come on, come on. the Bible is already declared that the vaccine of this virus is already made up. It is the altar. Yes, hallelujah. It is the altar. And that altar, hallelujah, that God is going to prepare for us. We need to have something to do, hallelujah, and ask the Lord, hallelujah, Lord, you give us this authority, hallelujah, through our prayer in the altar. Come on, preach it. The altar. The boxing is already made up. Saying, 
Oh my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he came unto the disciples and findeth him as left. And said unto Peter, What could you not watch me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit in them is willing, but the flesh is weak. This is the reason why the significant, why the angel of the Lord is standing between heaven and earth in the place of ornate dressing floor. He wants to know, amen, that when it comes to prayer, there is always a battle. Yes. Yes. Hello. But if you overcome the flesh and establish an altar, yes. woo, whether you like it or not, the Lord is going to move out the sword, the pointing to the world. Amen. Hallelujah. The cause pestilence is over the world. But when David is starting to build an altar and give an offering unto the Lord, hallelujah, the Bible said, hallelujah, he declared the victory over the power of fire. Hallelujah. Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In 2 Chronicles chapter 3, verse 1, the Solomon began to build the house of the Lord at Jerusalem in the Mount Moriah. Where the Lord appeared unto David his father in the place that David had prepared in the dressing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. Take note. He's talking about again the dressing floor because there is something in dressing floor, brother Chris. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because in dressing floor, it's significant our altar. The temple was built on Orland dressing floor where David built the altar. So I believe God will begin to build the new life fellowship into the magnificent church yes. that he derives for it to be when we will be willing to go to the dressing floor of our closet and beat our flesh into subjection and build an altar before him. No need to wait for the boxing that the world will give. We have already the unpaid of hallelujah for this COVID-19. If we learn how to build an altar in our own closet, there is a dressing floor there that you can start to build the altar of prayer. In this altar, I tell you, this is the birthplace of your revival. Pointing to the world 
Yes, yes, yes. The same what David seen, hallelujah, in the threshing floor. The sword is pointing to the people of Jerusalem that the cost that 70,000 are died because of the plague. But when David learned and understand what the significance of the threshing floor that David loved to build an altar. And that is the reason why God commanded the angel. Angel, put it back now, the sword pointing to Jerusalem. Yes. Put it back now into the shit. Put it back now into his own case. Hallelujah. Amen. And Amen. God said, He answered the prayer of David yes. that was built. The altar in the threshing floor. Hallelujah. That's why I very convinced this altar is the birthplace revival. of our revival. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. This altar is the birthplace of our deliverance and protection. Hallelujah. Everything yes, Lord. it is came from the altar. The outcome from the altar. And God, the Bible said, is going to respond it by fire. By fire. By fire. fire. Yes. And in our time, it's about the Holy Ghost. Yes. In our time, it's about the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes, yes. Wherever you are right now, saints. Come on. If you hear this live streaming video, yes. hallelujah, you can join with us and stand up with your feet. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do not make it silent to your life. Hallelujah. Start to build an altar inside your closet. There is a dressing floor in your closet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you can beat your flesh into subjection and build an altar before the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No need to buy any antibiotics. And then just to survive this pestilence that's happening in the world. Hallelujah. Just go inside your closet. Just go into the place where you have prayed. You, you have a freedom to come to the Lord in prayer. And starting to build the altar. Yes, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be oh, Because I believe hallelujah. when we come together, hallelujah, in this kind of spirit, yes. God is going to command His angel yes. to put back the sword into the shit. And then the pointing into this world that suffering this kind of pestilence church. Hallelujah. I believe there is a power. Hallelujah, the power of God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. to ask the angel Hallelujah. to put out back the sword into his case. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have done a lot. Hallelujah. 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 Spirit. But we need to do something because there is something in trust, in dressing our life. It is not an accident. Why God, hallelujah, ask the Lord, ask David to go into a dressing floor because there is something, there is something in the dressing floor. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah. 